So it's gonna be a weekend in my life. Start my day off with the walk because it's a little bit too cold for, to go for a run. But it's just a pretty day outside. I was like, I'm gonna take advantage of it and go for a walk. So going for a walk, listening to Kayla Nicholson's Coffee Talk podcast, and just taking the beautiful weather in. Hey, long time no talk. Um, I think last thing you saw was I went for a walk, and uh, then I kind of. Went in my for a little bit, a couple hours. Basically, after I went for my walk, I went back home, cleaned up, made myself presentable, did a bunch of computer work, typed up some stuff I had to do for church, um, watched some YouTube videos, posted a new video for Vlogmas. So, if you're watching this, hopefully, you've watched the one I've already posted. If not, It'd be up there go watch it quality anyways so i think i'm going to go get something to eat maybe and then i may go to this young adult thing we have at church it's like what maybe six young people my age <laughs> I decided I just wanted a smoothie because healthy. Mm. Oh, no, I wasn't really in the mood for anything else. So, I am currently watching the Saturday evening church service because I feel bad going to the service dressed in jeans because. In Greek Orthodox, it's like, it's very much, they don't care what you wear, but like they do, so like, I, I'm just going to watch from the comfort of, you know, today in my car, normally at home, but today in my car, so I'm just going to watch that, drink my smoothie, and then I'm going to go to this young adult thing they have for people at church, because it's like six people. They, they've been doing this for like a year but like I just found out about maybe like a couple months ago so yeah so yeah I think I'm going to go to that um, try to vlog it maybe maybe not we will see cause you know how people feel about cameras so I got the Jane Punch, some chocolate smoothie cafe. If we're gonna be honest, I was going to the chocolate smoothie cafe like 10 years ago, and like it was slept on then. People just know about, oh, this is cool. But like, about 10 years ago. So, so yeah. I'm going to continue to watch church and I will update y'all tonight if anything interesting happens so back from the young girl thing at church it was short because only like three people showed up so we were like mm, so yeah back from that actually back in time to be able to have dinner at home so we love to see it so I'm going to watch YouTube because I have a whole bunch of like the longest videos to catch up on so I'm just gonna enjoy watching that then eat dinner I may do a little spa night just for like the relaxation purposes tonight we'll see how many videos like how long it takes me to watch these videos 
and yeah, so I'm gonna watch people's promises. We love to see it. yesterday because I think the last thing you saw was me watching vlogmas videos and so I didn't really do much after that except eat dinner and go to bed so but say Sunday I was kind of rushing to get ready because I slept a little bit and so I have to be at church at like nine ish because I am the designated temperature checker at church because this and I'm not exposing older people to that, so this is to protect the old people I go to church with. Because if I don't, who else is going to? Exactly. So, um, we used to have just all online service, then maybe like a month ago, they were like, oh, we're going to go back to in person, but everyone has to wear a mask, everyone has to socially distance. We can only have a maximum of, of 20 people in the church. Everyone has to have the temperatures checked before they come in. The fever, they can't come in. If they're symptomatic, they can't come in. Obviously, you know, doesn't apply to asymptomatic people. But anyways, no one asked me. So, yeah. Um, I'm really late because apparently there's people here at 9 o'clock. So, I'm going to run in. Yeah, I got my mask on. Well, I have a mask in my... I have a separate mask that I use just for church because it's my clean mask. And that's really weird, but it's fine. So, I got my mask. I'm going to head into church, check temperatures. Hopefully the sermon will be good today. And Yeah, so... Wear your mask. Mask up, people. Let's do it. He's also not going to be our president in a few weeks, so. True. Thank God. <laughs> okay, so, just got home from church and found out that some family member who got COVID from a funeral they went to when they were around people who didn't wear masks. Even though they had masks on, they were around people who didn't, so. Anyways, so family member who got COVID, they were in the hospital doing somewhat okay, but you know, not terrible. Saying so, he he's basically in critical condition now, intubated and all that jazz. And I'm just like, as a nurse, I'm like, who's taking care of COVID positive intubated patients? I'm like, thanks, this is wonderful news, and I'm just like. It just goes to show the importance of making sure everyone wears a mask because they got COVID from someone who didn't have one who was asymptomatic. Therefore, very important, everyone wears a mask and doesn't gather in large crowds for this very reason. 
And so I'm just like getting updates on my phone. It's okay, fine. Anyways, yeah, I'm getting updates on my phone. My dad originally told me one thing, but then the priest from my church went up to the hospital and was like, okay, so this is where the update is.